Hello everybody and welcome to Slice UK. It's Brad for another Frozen Friday pizza review. Uh, you will notice that if you've seen the other videos, the house that I do the reviews in is slowly dwindling away. We're getting less and less. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sat on the floor. I'm going camping style. This is the final day of being in the house. Um, if you followed it, uh, we've moved. This is it. This is There's, there's literally nothing in the house. I got slated because last week uh, I was sat on an ironing board so those people god knows what they're going to say today because I'm sat on the floor and I don't even have a table so uh, I've salvaged a pizza wheel and I've salvaged my little thing whatever this is called like a little chopping board thing so we're good to go um, so what have we got for you today we've got a couple of things on this uh, Brad's Floor special so we're going in with a Goodfellas Romano this is like a, this is like the Siberian tiger of the pizza world. You don't really see them that often. Um, hard to track down. They're in B and M for two pounds, uh, and it is Pizza Romano Premium, Goodfellas Premium Pie. This is so this should be really good. And as Tony has done on the last two uh, Frozen and Chill pizza reviews, we have got oh, Castle Rock Brewery. So um, we are doing a collab with those. Pizza and beer, they go well, well, really well together, especially craft ales and things like that. So uh, this is the third of our collabs. So we'll start with the pizza and let's get this done uh, and we'll see what it's like. So as I say, this is really hard to find, but it's in B&M, so get down to B&M to have a look. Uh, Tony actually found this one for me because he's reviewed this previously on the Instagram when it was just in photo format oh my word <laughs> he went savage on this uh, score wise he gave it a 3.1 now we haven't had a lot of luck with goodfellas pizzas really they've not been too good you know um, we found that like their base range has been quite poor but this is a premium range so let's go in and get a slice of the action so here it is Let's give it a snap Holds up well, bit of pizza there. I uh, don't know if you can see that on the top. Oh no, we've lost a tomato. It is premium, so it's got, oh, we got the tomato back, don't worry. It's premium, so it's got cherry tomatoes, it's got basil pesto, it has got mozzarella cheese with added starch for some reason. And it has got a sauce that consists of basil, oregano, garlic puree, and black pepper. So that should be really flavoursome. So let's get a slice of the action, see what it's like. Okay, first bite. Tony said that this basically, he just basically kept it, it's like a bit of a nothing pizza. He said, the basil pesto saves it. My first bite there, I, don't actually mind it, you know. I don't think it's it's that bad. I don't think it's 3.1 anyway. Let's have another go. Okay, so the sauce, yeah, I understand what he means by the sauce. The sauce is kind of lost. And then the basil pesto does take over. So you get really, really strong taste of basil. Um the cherry tomatoes are okay, they're not good as good as some others like we did a Morrison's uh, sourdough extra special one and um, Momenti has got fresh uh, cherries on uh, cherries fresh cherry tomatoes and uh, they taste really good but these don't taste as good let's do a crust bite okay the Goodfellas is where the Goodfellas uh, stone baked it's where we got our rich tea comment from, where you often hear us say it's like a rich tea crust. That's where it came from. The Goodfellas one has a really rich tea crust, like a biscuity, rich tea, weird crust. It's not, it's not really like that. It's not great though. Um, super doughy. It's not thin. It's not thick. It's like a, it's like an awkward thickness base, but the base is okay. Um, I think Tony must have been on one when he had this. I don't think it, I mean, it's not good, but 
for a premium range pie, bear in mind. So this is Goodfellas, four cheese, cherry tomatoes, basil pesto, pizza Romano. So it's basically meant to be Romano style, uh, which it isn't by the looks of it. Uh, it's more of a traditional style, so it's the same as a ristorante or momenti, that type of a that type of a pizza. Um, but yeah, let's have one last bite and then we'll score this bad boy. Okay. Okay. So, in summary, in summary. Um, base, not good, kind of, kind of ready, not great. Crust's a little bit better than usual for a good fellas. Well done to good fellas there. Uh, sauce, hmm, not really existing. Basil pesto, great. Cheese, not bad. Mozzarella, and it, is there any others on there? Is it lemon juice? White cheddar cheese, Gran Moravia cheese, Monterey Jack cheese. Right, okay, so now I've looked at that, this isn't as good as what it should be. I thought this was just mozzarella. Mozzarella, mozzarella. You're not getting any of those flavors through. Um, premium pie, no. Better than Goodfellas base range stone bake that we absolutely hate and give about a 2.5, yes. In the threes, no, it's a bit better than that. I'm going to score it at a 4.5. Um, it's for a premium range pie, it needs to be a lot, lot better. Uh, good fellas, sort your heads out uh, and sort your bases out because they're not great. So, I mean, I'm going to get panned for sitting on the floor. The pizza's just been panned, so let's move over to. The uh, collaboration guys, so Castle Rock Brewery, if you're familiar with Tony uh, and his other reviews, he has done the other two. He did a uh, a North England style, uh, North England, New England IPA, uh, and he did another one, which escapes me what it was, but he did, he did another one, we got sent out three beers each. I am left with the West Coast I think it's Session IPA, it's a SEPA, so I think it's a Session IPA. Uh, luckily I've been to LA and I have had craft ales in LA. Um, so when you think West Coast of America, you're thinking fresh and fruity and vibrant kind of flavours. So we'll see what it's like. Poured a bit in there so you can see the colour of it. I mean, apologies, I've managed to scrape a glass because there's nothing in the house. Give me a break. I've scraped a Peroni glass together, so it's not as good as Tony's uh, craft ale glasses. Uh, so let's go in and give it a try. Very nice, very, very sharp, fruity, uh, almost like a citrusy, a citrusy sharpness to it. Ooh, yeah, that's nice, that. Um, yeah, very sharp. That's a good one that, that cuts through. It's good for pizza, that, especially on like a greasy pizza or something. That cut that cut right through it. Um, head over to Castle Rock. They are a Nottingham-based brewery. Uh, they own they own a shed loads of pubs <laughs> uh, in uh, the Nottingham and Sheffield area. So um, all those pubs are supplied by these guys. Um, if you want to check them out, it's castlerockbrewery.co.uk. You can go over and read a little bit about them. Um, more importantly, you can go to the shop. The shop's really cool. You can get bottles, you can get cans. They even do gin on there. Um, they do loads of different IPAs. They also have little, if you know anybody that's into IPAs or craft ales or anything like that, they do little gift packs uh, with a, a little cool bottle, uh, bottle, can, uh, no, glass. <laughs> That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. Oh my God, my head's gone. I've come straight from work and done this review. So, uh, glass. It comes with a glass and two cans or two bottles. They're cool. Go and pick them up. 
Uh, so head over to castlerock.co.uk and check these out because that is a quality uh, craft ale and uh, check out their Instagram as well for all the new developments and stuff they've got going on. Um, so thank you very much to Castle Rock for sending those out. We really appreciate the collab. Um, check us out for some more uh, craft ale companies that we've got coming up. Um, and that is it. The pizza was terrible. The beer was good. And now I bid an emotional farewell to the house. Goodbye, house. We will miss you. You've been good to us, especially this table. It has supported me and my pizza reviews. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, look out for the next review that I'm on, which will be in another house. Um, also, follow the Bee Balance Company uh, Kitchen on Instagram because that's why I'm moving house to fund that, so we'll go and check that out. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Tony's here tomorrow with a pizza review, uh, live on location from uh, a pizzeria in Liverpool, so check that out. Thank you very much, and stay pizzeria.